Welcome back to the Homeschool Advantage Podcast. I'm your host, Bex Buzzy. And today's guest is Cameron Curry, CEO of Classical Academies. Classical Academies is an organization of award-winning, tuition-free, California public charter schools serving North San Diego since 1999. There are now seven campuses serving the northern region of San Diego, Escondido, Vista, and Oceanside. The Classical Academies is open to all students in San Diego, Orange, and Riverside counties. In this episode, we talk about how Classical Academies can tailor programs giving your child and you, the parent, a more specialized and personalized educational experience. How Classical Academy supports you, the parents, to work with your children. Classical Academies works as a type of homeschool, yet it is in the California public charter schools. Also, we talked to CEO Cameron Curry, how he graduated all of his children through this academy, the joy he and his wife had in this journey with their children in classical academies. Go grab your coffee, tea, and a pen and paper because you're not going to want to miss what Cameron has to say. Let's get into the podcast. Cameron, say hello to our listeners and tell us one thing you believe most don't know about homeschool. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me on the program today. And this is an exciting time to not only encourage homeschoolers, but maybe actually draw some additional people in who've never even thought about doing this before. So I think about one of the misnomers that I often hear about homeschoolers are, Cameron, you serve homeschoolers, well, they're not socialized. And let's be honest, moms and dads, grandparents, extended family, have these students so involved in our communities, so involved in art classes and dance classes and math classes and competitions and so much is going on that is so rigorous that these students most likely are getting a much better education, especially in the hours of the day versus a traditional school setting. But let's be honest, the people who are not socialized in the homeschool network is most likely the parents. They're (laughs) so busy. They're so busy making sure their kids are educated that, frankly, mom and dad, when's the last time you just said, we need to go out on a date? We need to step back a little bit and get a little bit of time for ourselves. So that's one of the things I think about and actually address very often. Mom and dad, take a date. Get out of here. Wow. I never even thought about that. You're absolutely right. That's fantastic. Yes. Go out, have a date night. I know when my husband and I don't have a date night, we can get pretty cranky. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, the other thing too, moms and dads are so driven. They're so actively and meaningfully involved in the lives of their children, which is so great. There are so many families that have taken the time to just know that, you know, your children are not with us very long when you think about, you know, the, the course of their lives that this is a great opportunity to spend time together, but also remember the boundaries, remember the boundaries, take care of yourself and all of that. That's so true. Parents give so much. They tend to Mm -hmm. forget themselves. I love that reminder. That's fantastic. So, you know, classical academy, classical academies, you have so many, you know, now schools out. What was your inspiration to start your very first one? Wow, it was back in 1999. Uh, We were watching as a charter school was coming to our community and we thought, what's a charter school? Um, Our children were in second grade in kindergarten and then our baby Kate was not in school yet. My wife is a credentialed teacher. She worked at a private school for many years, was the principal. She taught, she did many different roles there. And so as we looked at this charter school option that was going to be partnering with homeschool families, they could be on campus a couple of days a week, but also be at home for three days a week. They would provide the lesson plans, tools, resources, everything they needed. So we thought, wow, that's something that we're actually interested in. And so as we got involved with helping found the school, 
it was funny. It was like, we just kind of got sucked in. Like it was almost meant to be, we're supposed to be there. So uh, my wife took a job as a teacher. Um, I worked as the first board president. And then from there, um, I ended up taking a, a full-time job at the school just a couple months later, because the number one reason that schools fail, it's the backbone, it's the finances, it's the are you taking care of you know, the back end of the business? Because frankly, you can have an exciting and really dynamic educational program and be doing great things for kids. But if you don't have a strong backbone on your business, you're in trouble. You're really, really in trouble. So anyway, all of a sudden, you know, you flash forward. It's what, 24 years later, we have seven campuses, 5,600 students, kindergarten through 12th grade. We serve North County, San Diego. And to this day, we still believe, as our primary belief as an organization, is that parents are the primary educators of their children. They taught them how to walk. They taught them how to tie their shoes. You heard the very first words as you were there. And guess what? Together, we can help you teach your children algebra. It's possible. It's possible. So we love the fact that we serve a homeschool community. We love the fact that parents are still to this day, all these years later, seeking opportunities for accountability, but also freedom to spend time around the things they value, the conversations they want to have around the dinner table, the things that they really want to instill in their children, but also partner with a credential teacher and make sure that you know their children are on track academically, if not completely excelling a grade level above. It's exciting. It's really, really exciting. That's awesome. Your so your your academy is really large. It's um, I, it almost rivals a uh, traditional school in in the sense of the size. But you definitely you guys partner with the parent. So can right. you walk me through that? What does that look like partnering with a parent, like the teacher? Partnering oh, with oh parents? perfect. Okay. What we will what what we'll see it at our schools is we love to personalize the academic experience for every student. So let's just talk about our children, maybe your children, they all are different. They all learn differently. They have different learning styles. They think differently. Their interests are different. So what we'll do is actually sit down with a family and find out where they are academically and then create an academic and social emotional program for each and every student. That may be some students are on campus a couple of days a week in a classroom, in a lab, in, a, in an elective situation uh, that really works for them because it aligns to the specialized and personalized academic program. We also serve a large group of families that don't do any on-campus activities at all. They're really interested in the opportunity to work with a credential teacher, but manage the program, the academic program at home, spend more time on you know, science, spend more time on history, spend more time on things that they value that also align to the academic program that they want for their son or daughter. And then, you know, there's that ongoing communication with that credential teacher. So they'll come back in, get more resources, have accountability, have conversations, and really that educational specialist, we call them, they're credential teachers, they'll be the really the guide on the side. There are a lot of families, which we saw through the pandemic, who never thought they would homeschool their children before, but, you know, traditional options didn't pivot, weren't available, and they started exploring options like they never thought they would before. And so that guide on the side, that teacher, this is how you teach science, or here's some additional resources as you're going through those math, math lessons. And then also the beauty of this, as you know from homeschooling your own children, is homeschooling is happening all the time. It might be in a weekend, might be into the evening, might be early in the morning, I mean, all of that, and we've made it so our credentials teachers are available. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, but 24 seven, a homeschool wow. mom can call one of our teachers on a Saturday afternoon and say, I'm right in the middle of this math lesson. And I just have a question. What about, what about, and then there's that support and that guidance. I mean, if you're going to deal with homeschool families, you need to understand that they are incredibly flexible with their days. There may be a community opportunity in the afternoon to maybe go, you know, do beach cleanup or serve the community in some way. And so they're going to shift their lessons to maybe a Saturday afternoon. And so it just is what it is, but it's the beauty of homeschooling. It is the beauty of homeschooling to have that kind of flexibility. And how awesome is it that you provide resources and people who are going to be at their disposal when they need that help? Because 
I know now with this huge influx of new parents coming into homeschooling because one, either they saw the benefit through COVID of being able to be with their child and educate their child to maybe now they're like, I really don't like what's being taught in right. you know the, the, the traditional school system. I want to keep my kid out. I want to be able to, you know, let my child flourish in where they are most strong. So that's also another great thing. And to have all that opportunity and resources, it's the resources that are so important for parents because there that there's that moment where that lying voice says you're not equipped you know right. and then like you're not a credential teacher you don't know what you're doing it's like ah right yeah and then when they get connected with somebody who can like say no nope, you're good you're doing fine let's just do this and it's a partnership it's a beautiful partnership that's amazing that's really fantastic it's um it's one of those things where you know um if a parent is just coming in this is probably exactly where they want to be to be able to step into this new arena of homeschooling well and we knew long time ago back in 1999 as we started serving families there is a component that we need to be doing parent training it's just so important it, there you know what we do a huge jumpstart parent conference every august and it's a chance for families to not only come together and gather and you know get excited about the school year but it's also a chance for us to really dive into different training opportunities because maybe you're only homeschooling one child and now you've you've had a baby over the summer and you know how do i manage that time now because i'm i'm trying to you know deal with a toddler but i also have a middle schooler and you know some of those tips and tricks from other families that have done this before but also, how do you use different resources or how do you use the curriculums that we do provide? And you know what? I've got questions around. We, we love to do that. But parent training is, is so important, especially, like I said, over the last couple of years, we picked up so many new families through the pandemic. Here are families who never thought about even homeschooling. Let's, this can be overwhelming as well. It's like, I'm taking on the education of my children. Are you crazy? Yes, you can do this. We are your cheerleaders. You can do this. This is our role. This is your role. And together, your son is going to learn algebra. It's going to be exciting. That's so cool. So do you do you um, do you support every subject or do you have like certain subjects that your academy teaches and the parents go find um, other subjects to supplement? Here, let's talk about sex ed. Sex ed is a conversation that parents should be having around a dinner table or at least in their homes. So guess what? That's your time to spend around the things that you value, the conversations you want to have. And we as the classical academies have turned that completely over to families. And yes, when you get into, when your son or daughter's in high school, yes, they're going to go to the biology class. Yes, they're going to learn about sexuality. But when it comes to you know what, contraceptives and birth control and, and things like that. It's like, guess what? Those are conversations that you need to have at home. We provide a curriculum um, that is, you know, the state adopted, state approved, but not every family gets excited about what the state is handing them. And this is their opportunity to have some real key conversations about family values, um, maybe their religion, maybe their um, you know, the things that they're doing in their community that they think is important. And that's one of the things that families have come back to us every year and said, we love the fact that you have a flexible program. We love that. The other thing we love is the fact that this flexibility creates opportunities for us to spend time with our children. And then we get to have conversations about the things that we value, the traditions that we, that we align to in our family. And we get to have conversations that we don't really believe are the business of you know, the, the traditional public school or, you know, this shouldn't be happening in a classroom. We think that should be happening at home. And we applaud that. We get excited about that. That's awesome. But back, to your, yeah. I can say, back to your original question. Yes, we're, we're doing math and science and history and writing and grammar. Um, and then we provide lots of different, which we call electives or selectives, we call them. But basically it's art and music and, oh my gosh, uh, creative writing and um, all cooking and I mean, all different kinds of opportunities for students as well. Fantastic, because I know in the I know in public school, a lot of those uh, electives are being taken out and right. 
it's unfortunate because as I've been learning more and more by talking to a lot of homeschool providers that, you know, the importance of having those electives that actually facilitate in the learning of the core subjects, which is amazing. And they open up different parts of the brain that, you know, the child's able to have like a holistic learning. Right, right. And it is important. And there's a lot of different schools and a lot of different options that do it a lot of different ways. And we just come back to, we have really clearly defined what we believe the partnership is. And we empower parents to really be making some key decisions around what they believe is best. I mean, I still, at the end of the day, I know the state would love to say that they're better parents than you and I, but we know, gosh, I'm given the gift of these children and it's my job and my role to find the best opportunities, you know, for their social emotional health, you know, to, to feed their creativity and find out what their, their talents and abilities are and feed that so they become, you know, who they're supposed to be. Have you found that parents also enjoy the learning along with their kids? Like they've become the learner as well? They do. And it's so funny too, because you'll run into families who will say, you know what, fourth grade was my absolute favorite time. And I loved learning about X, Y, and Z. And I want my son or daughter to do that too. And, but it's so funny too, because they'll come through this entire experience, whether it's, you know, kindergarten through 12th grade, and they'll go, I can't believe what I learned. You know, I didn't learn that in high school, or I, I never heard that concept before. And yeah, it's, it's been great because the family learns together. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, and that builds that bond and everything. And I, and I know that a lot of times when kids have learning challenges, when the parent is there helping them out, there are so many breakthroughs that kids can have during that time. They totally can. And the other thing about the classical academies is we have a hundred plus special education trained teachers and aides and specialists because there are kids who have not fit in the traditional system or it's incredibly hard for a mom and dad with a child with special needs to be able to homeschool full time. And so we have found that building that bridge, those kids get to be on campus if they need to be on campus. They have the tools and the support of our professionals who understand what those needs are and then get to work with mom and dad, get to work with the student. And it's really the best of both worlds. It's just really quite unique. And, you know, and the child learns through the whole process. It probably brings so much peace in the home, uh, in the household, that, you know, a child's able to feel empowered and strengthened and that they're not, you know, this oddball out that can't do X, Y, and Z. Now they're feeling, wow, I, I, got, I can do this. And, and like, I know for a fact that, that there's always tensions when it comes down to schooling with parents, with kids who just are having a bit of a hard time. But when you're able to bridge that gap, I mean, how powerful is that to bring that family back together? I think that's one of the things that people don't realize also in homeschooling. It's not just about the education that the kids are getting, the parents are getting it. And all of a sudden this relationship that's being built that never would have been built because your child is going to be gone 40 hours a week at minimum, you know, every week. I mean, that's, oh my gosh, what is that? 1600 hours, you know, it, it's just like 160 hours. I mean, I'm going ahead like for the whole entire year, but that's a lot of time, you it's know, to be gone. Time. Yeah, it's a well, lot the other of thing too, and I mean, the pendulum has really swung and what happened decades ago where, you know, moms or dads were welcome on public school campuses. And then the pendulum swung where it was like, you know what, it's just the belief you drop your children off. They're in that facility for six to eight hours a day and they get home and then they're, you know, consumed with homework that they have to do for hours. And just, you're right, the disconnect that happens as a result of that. And it's also interesting too, that moms and dads are homeschooling their children. And if you actually, you can cover a lot of this material and a lot of this time in half the time which yes. opens up different opportunities for interests and opportunities to go to libraries or beaches or community service days, or, you know, it's not this pre-programmed, you open your book at 11 o'clock and you do X, Y, Z. You can be organic some days. Some days you just need to take the day off. And I encourage families that every year, it's like, you need to schedule time off during your school year. That and, and use those as surprise opportunities. Your kids get up in the morning. Guess what? There's no school today. We're off to. That's awesome. Put the work aside and explore the options and opportunities of the community in which we live in. 
Don't be so consumed. And also box checking. That's the other thing that so many families do. They're starting the homeschool journey and they've been doing it for a while. Don't check boxes. This is all about learning. And if they, if that discussion lasts 20 extra minutes, how great is that? You know, don't be so prescribed during the day that you don't open some opportunities for flexibility on discussion and learning. It's just great. And your curriculum and everything, well, your program actually. So let's right. say the child is um, advanced. Can they advance on, on the, can they advance or do they have to be held within their age level? No, and that's, that's the beauty of the personalization. We're coming in and let's say you have a fourth grader, but really they're working at a sixth grade level with math and maybe a third grade level with spelling. Let's create that program so they're getting the support they need, but also get out of the way in, in some of the opportunities so they can just fly. If they're on track with math and they understand the concepts, why are we holding them back? Give, them the, give mom and dad the tools and the resources and fan those flames and let them become who they're supposed to be. And I think that's part of the trouble with some of the traditional schools and the fact that you've got those children that are in the middle. You know, those teachers at the front of the room are, I'm working with the high achievers and then I'm working with the kids that, you know, we're causing the problems or whatever they're being loud or whatever distractions are happening. And it's that child in the middle who isn't getting, you know, the tools, resources, and really the time. And this through the homeschooling opportunity, you know what, they're getting the time they need and you're spending, you know, all the effort on their individual interests and, you know, opportunities. And it's just great. Yeah, our job is to get out of the way, fan the flames and help kids and support them where they need to get supported. Beautiful. Yeah, you know, and I know because I'm, I'm still a, a public school teacher, so I, I'm very familiar with, you know, how, how we have to teach our class because we tend to have pretty large classes, especially here mm -hmm. in California. It's probably one of the larger classes in all across the United States. When I came from New Jersey, I remember my classes were between 15 and 20 kids, you know, and right. that was a pretty decent class. And my large class was 25. Now here, 25 is a normal class <laughs> with, you know, classes True. up to 36 and 42. So with that, you know, one thing I do realize is, and I don't think parents realize this, the curriculum that's brought into the public school has nothing to do with the student. It has everything to do with the teacher. So can the teacher teach this curriculum to all these kids. It has not to do with the, you know, specialized education that that is touted, you know, and the differentiated learning and all that other stuff and just full transparency. The, the differentiated learning is, you know, you get a worksheet with X amount of questions and then you take three off for the one who can't do it as fast and you add three okay. for the one who is more advanced. That's our differentiated learning. <laughs> so it's really, um, it's an interesting thing when you think about it and you start realizing like, oh my gosh, my child will probably do so much better, you know, in an, an environment where they can thrive and they can go at their own pace, whether it be fast or slow, the opportunity is there. And the, and the, the parent, the parent is there. That to me is the most exciting part yep. um, about everything. Well, and the other thing too, and it creates opportunities for grandma and grandpa and aunts and uncles. And, you know, they're pressing into that homeschool experience because maybe the uncle really has a passion and an interest. And maybe he's an engineer at a local firm and your children can go over there in an afternoon and have a discussion around, you know, some mechanical opportunity. They're learning. You're at the grocery store and they're helping you put fruits and vegetables and you're weighing things and trying to get costs on things. There is learning happening. That, that is the beauty of the homeschool experience. You could be in the car and you've got this song on that's, you know, repeating math facts. I mean, people are learning all different places. It doesn't have to be confined to a brick and mortar school that's been there since 1954, most likely has the same employees that are there and hasn't really changed over the past several years because they adopt curriculum for years. They use that and it hasn't really been adapted for you know, that that learner who's excelling or that learner who's really challenged. And there are so many opportunities when you when you step outside the box and kind of go, yeah, what is possible? What is possible? And this is not about bad mouthing the traditional public school system. There are some great schools out there. But the bottom line is, moms and dads, you have options. You don't have to be tied to a brick and mortar facility for your student to go on to college or create 
the, you know, the career opportunity to be the entrepreneur they're supposed to be. That can happen around your dinner table. Right. Obviously, I can hear the passion in your voice. You have lots of passion towards this, <laughs> and I can hear all the wisdom and the experience just coming through. You've homeschooled your own children through classical academies. Can you talk about that too? Yes, uh, our son was in second grade when the school started. Our other daughter was in kindergarten, and our other daughter was, you know, just a baby at the time. And so, each of our our, our kids went through. They are successful adults. I will remind your listeners: it is possible to homeschool your children. It is possible they go to college. It is possible they get great jobs. It happened for us, and so uh, no doubt. Um, you know, the Lord was on our side through all of it, no doubt that, you know, the challenges and opportunities, but really the closest of our family, we did not want to trade away those years that we would not have together. And it allowed us to really just, like I said, individualize their program. And at this point, I've got a, a son who, oh my goodness, how old Jordan, Jordan's going to be 30 this year. That's crazy. That's, he's our oldest son. Uh, Elizabeth is 28. And then we've got Kate, who's 26, and each of them is working, each of them is enjoying their lives. And so this homeschooling experience did set them up for success individually. And each of them is, you know, is pursuing their interests as, as, as young adults in the world and hopefully making, making everything a better place where they are as a result. And you've, you and your wife have homeschooled your children all the way through, it seems like. So have you seen some trends change from the time you started homeschooling to now? Like maybe it's not as difficult now as it might have been back then. I know back uh, maybe even like 20 years ago, homeschooling might have right. been a, a slightly bit more challenging with curriculum and everything. Can you well, talk about that change? Well, I was going to say, even then, it was still odd that you were homeschooling. I think it's much more accepted these days. So, I mean, obviously, you know, there was still, you know, there's, um, you know, there's these tropes about um, the homeschooling experience, which are just, you know, homeschoolers, you know, you can't do this, you can't do this, or you'll never achieve, or you'll never, it's like, that's just silly. Um, but nowadays, I mean, technology has moved us in such a great direction everything i mean when we started homeschooling was the internet even available it's like yeah that tools and resources and so much information and and now that we've got you know the access to zoom you can you can you know speak to missionaries on the other side of the world and and talk about their experience and bring that into your home and there's there's so many great opportunities where before there's only a couple curriculum providers that provided homeschooling resources um, you know, you weren't able to call some of the big publishers and get some of those specific texts or books or whatever. And, and, and now it's pretty much the world is at your fingertips. And that's the other reason that moms and dads are, are looking into this is because the fact is any tool, any resource, any piece of information is now in your hand, you know, with your phone. It, it, it's quite, quite amazing, quite amazing for sure. Your but yeah, I would say what's changed is the resources, resource and the availability to get them. Yeah, your creativity to think off the cuff, like get into a missionary across the United States, like to have math in your classroom. It's just, I mean, in your car, um, it's it's like really like kind of sparking my brain too to think like, my gosh, I realize that you know outside the the classroom there's learning, but you you seem to keep taking it to another level and it's really cool oh, great. to see great. that yeah and to hear that so what is the call to action where can people find classical academies like and be able to like connect up with you know teachers and th sure, just sure. the academy itself check out uh, classicalacademy.com Great website, great resources, tells you about who we are, what we do, how we do it. That's really, really great. We serve families, like I said before, if you're going to be at home, you can be at home full time. If you would like to have a, a campus experience, either one day, um, a couple of days a week. Um, at the elementary level, it's usually two days a week if people want that. At the, at the um, what we call is middle school, which is sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, we offer a three-day experience. Or if you'd like to do the high school, we do a four-day experience for ninth through 12th grade. But what we've really discovered over the years is moms and dads will come to us, they'll do the K-3, and they'll go, oh, I really, I know what I'm doing. I can really work outside the box now. And then at fourth grade, they're moving into a full-time homeschooling experience where they're, you know, embracing the community options and the resources and the tools and 
really, you know, creating that, that program that works best for their son and daughter and working with our credentialed teachers. Um, but they, we serve medically fragile students who can't come to campus. We serve uh, students that are working on an acting career or they're working on uh, their, you know, the entertainment field. They want to go into Hollywood or something like that. And so we create that flexibility and, you know, try to tailor that program to specifically what they need. Because at the end of the day, you know, homeschooling isn't for everyone, but frankly, it can be for all, almost everyone because when you tailor the program, you understand what the learning needs are, and then you partner with a program like the classical academies. You know what? It's the best of both worlds. That's fantastic. Um, is there one big takeaway as we wrap up our conversation today? One big takeaway you want families to get from our conversation today? Oh, let, let's kind of boil it into a couple different things. I'll just tell you, Barb and I have been married almost 31 years. You can homeschool your family. You can still be in love. You can still be having fun. So I just want to encourage families. This is for, a, you're making an investment for a short amount of time with incredible benefits that are long, that are life lasting for your, for your children. That, that's really exciting. But, but really, with all of the different resources, tools, and information that's available, I think the best way is to talk to a friend. Talk to a friend that you trust. Why are they homeschooling? Uh, and this is a conversation that Barb and I used to have on an annual basis, and I really encourage families to do that over the summer. Sit down, quiet evening, mom and dad, why are we homeschooling? Remind yourself. And, and then bring that back up throughout the course of the year, because some weeks are easy, some weeks are a struggle. And always come back to, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? And stay true to yourself. It's important. It's really, really important. So thank you. Thanks for this opportunity to talk today. Yeah, great wisdom. Thank you so much for coming on, Cameron. It's been a pleasure getting to know you and just, you know, learning from you right now, just Thank how you. to think outside of a box even more than like i thought i was pretty out of the box but you definitely got me to another level so thank you so much and i'm i hope you know parents were really just i know they're going to be inspired i actually i know parents are going to be very much inspired and one last thing i want to say is i think this is such a great opportunity for those parents also who need to work um to be able to still have that homeschool experience and tailored learning for their child you know, by having, you have that hybrid on campus or off campus to right. be able to really meet so many different, um, you know, needs. So fantastic. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, classicalacademy.com. Check us out. Thank you for today. Yeah. Thanks. If you love the conversations we're having here on the Homeschool Advantage podcast, Follow or subscribe our podcast to stay in the loop and never miss this amazing content. And please highly consider taking a minute to leave a positive rating and review to help others like you discover this show. See you next time.